Hey, welcome back to Laser Engraving 911. So I'm not sure if you saw yesterday, probably a lot of you have, but Xtool released a promo video and another video on their new unit coming out, the F1 Ultra, which is a compact, I guess, 20 watt fiber laser and 20 watt diode laser all packed into this machine that's the that's the only way i can describe it i just thought we'd watch this video together and i'm probably going to pause it and comment on some of my thoughts and just share what i think about this initial promo video and tell you some things that maybe i'm a little excited for and something else so stick around to the end of the video here we go <music> Okay, well, <laughs> that was a lot. I just want to say right off the bat, but let's go ahead and unpack that really quick and just <laughs> give you my thoughts. So here, let's go ahead and scrub back. So looks like we've got some kind of auto focusing here on the, the chassis, and then it goes right to this. And this is what I am extremely interested in to try out and put to the test. They've got a conveyor belt system that you can get with this and a vision system built in so where the camera is recognizing the same type shape objects. And then once you put one logo on, it will do them all as they're passing underneath the workable area. That's kind of mind blowing. So vision systems in laser engraving machines have been around for a long time, but usually you got to have some dough. So this, this, the vision systems that I've seen in some of the fiber laser systems, they're, you know, quarter million dollars and up, and they're mainly for industrial applications, but I've seen them. It's not, it's nothing new, but the fact that X tool has figured out a way to bring this to a consumer level, uh, this kind of high volume production feature is kind of mind blowing. So let's enough of that. Let's just kind of keep scrubbing through here. All right, let's talk about this for a second. So they're combining in one Galvo head, uh, beam delivery of the 20 watt diode laser or the fiber laser, uh, into the Galvo head and then moving it through the mirrors, through the same lens, just, I mean, wow, that's pretty cool. I know they were already doing that with the F1, but now they're doing it with much more powerful lasers and they're throwing a 20 watt fiber laser. I'm very curious to see what, you know, what kind of 20 watt fiber laser it, is it? Is it there's something they created themselves? So they're using like JPT or there's a lot of cool stuff going on in there. All right. So let's scrub through a little bit more. You got the enclosure and here's that conveyor belt again. So not only is it using a vision system to do repetitive work, but it's also you could put something on the conveyor belt that's really long. And as it's moving by, you know, you can engrave a pretty big sign with this. I'm not sure how long it would take, uh, probably not that long, but I mean, the fact that you can do that and feed a long piece of wood through there. Okay. That's impressive as well. So now we've got the little heart shapes. Why do, when I see this scene, why do I want to eat all those little metal charms. I don't know what, when they fall off the end, I just want to, I just want to eat them. right there. <laughs> and then we go to the challenge coin. Um, so I guess what they're implying here is if you want to use like STL files and do like 3d challenge coins has the ability to do that as well. I'm not sure if that's because, well, actually we'll get to that in a second. But I know you can already do that in Lightburn with the right type of files. They got a rotary here and they're showing some kind of, 
highly programmed anneal setting. So they're annealing the stainless steel using the fiber laser. That takes a lot of programming to program all those colors. Maybe they've made something simple in the software so that you just pick a setting and it's automatically blue. That would be, that would blow my mind, but probably not. You're probably gonna have to dial in all your settings for those colors. X tool proved me wrong. Okay, now, okay, right there, right there. That is an extreme curve right there. And I don't know enough about how this system works, but that is an extreme curve. So either the head, the Z axis is, is automated and it's changing its focal distance live after you put in some programming or I don't know, man, but if, if that's the case and it's got a, you know, a, a 3D Z axis where it's moving up and down and changing focus based on the shape of the object, man, I'm sorry. That's, I hope that's the case because if that's the case, <laughs> that's going to allow me to do a lot of jobs that I've had to say no to. So let's just click play again. <laughs> Look at that little, right here, let me move myself. Look at this little control surface over here. It's all compact. It looks like it's a little phone or something that's like off to the side. Oh, man, this thing's got me juiced. Okay, well, I think that is one of the most innovative. All right, well, that was quite a bit to unpack. It's This is just trying to keep this a short video, but I just want to tell you all that this machine has piqued my interest. And not only that, but in about a month or so, uh, I believe that X tool is going to be sending me one of these. So we are going to do a deep dive into this machine and we will go over all those things that we just saw and we'll get into them together. We'll check out how they work. We'll push them to the limits. So stay tuned for that episode. And thanks for hanging out with me for a second on laser engraving. 911.